Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we have another new bags episode. Today, we're going to be talking about so many things, but I'm going to try to keep it as concise and efficient as possible. We're going to cover the Dior Lunar New Year, the Lueve Jade Collection slash Lunar New Year, the Fendi Fragment and Pokemon Collection. I know I'm super late to the game on that one, but I thought I would still throw this in. And last but not least, the Louis Vuitton Remix Collection. Basically, Y2K inspired, hence why I'm wearing a vintage shirt that i got from melrose it's like a bulls shirt because they won the championships back to back but anyways if you guys are interested to see what i think about these new bags then just keep watching okay so we're first gonna talk about dior's lunar new year collection so it's basically continuing it on with the christmas theme the butterflies except it's basically like butterflies in a heart the collection is called le coeur de papillon which is literal translation like heart of the butterfly or a butterfly heart you guys can see that it has this really nice heart design you guys know me that i am a little apprehensive of any backdrop or base being white just because they have that glue issue i haven't rechecked into it if they updated it so now no more white bags have that problem but that's my only thing but other than that i love the theme you know what's really sad is that before for seasonal book totes they would have christian dior written on the handle and now they no longer do that which i don't know why because that was one of my favorite bits of the seasonal ones but anyways so here's a close-up of the book tote i'm sure you guys have seen pictures of it online you guys know me i'm a ride or die book tote lover honestly i would love to add three or four more book totes in my lifetime i'm just it's easily in my top three favorite bags and it's not for functionality it's really just because i'm a collector and i truly think they're just so stunning if you've never seen the embroidery in person up close it's beautiful just so so beautiful they do also have the same butterfly hearts in the d-light so if you don't want to fully commit to a giant book tilt i feel like this would be a much more practical way to ease into it and i love 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 if you guys can see the detail of the heart is actually more apparent in the d-light version than the book tilt like oh and i love the little corner bits too with the butterflies it really just wants your eyes to go straight into the heart which i really really like and then this is the strap as well i think this is a little too loud for my liking I would have just liked the back just to say Christian Dior once but having it Christian Dior Paris, Christian Dior Paris, Christian Dior Paris, Christian Dior Paris I think that's a little too aggressive that would probably be my only gripe and then this little charm I mean I feel like the charm alone probably adds like 250 extra dollars to be honest but you actually see the detail of the painted wings of the butterfly which is so nice such a nice touch and then Dior actually has this new bag I did see this bag in store for me it's giving the vintage old saddle bags the ones that ever everyone had like if you just go into a vintage website and type in Dior saddlebag this is what it was except oblique so I actually do like this this is really thin it's a lot smaller than I feel like the pictures look online and I mean 2250 it's a Dior bag it's all leather and it's I feel like anything in a saddle line just gives it that premium price but I actually think it's really cute I mean let's be honest there's not a lot of entry level like a thousand dollar bags anymore they used to have the nano pouch but i do know that they discontinued it for some reason i personally really like goat skin because it's hard wearing easy to use you don't really have to worry about it but i think this is cute really simple and then the strap is adjustable i do know that this is available in a couple other colors yes so it's available in the beige the pink white oh is this yellow is this a pale yellow i just want to see <gasps> it's a pastel yellow oh i think this is actually the one that i saw in store but the lighting made it look kind of like a creamy beige this is a very wearable pastel yellow it's giving dark butter from the Weve, and i would have loved this to be more an even brighter yellow would actually be super super nice don't get me wrong i think 22.50 for a bag this small is expensive but let's just kind of equate it to the louis vuitton pochette accessoire i think it's like 1700 now there's an internal pocket it's all canvas and then it just has the added chain whereas this is 2250 it's all leather and you just have to know like the structure of this bag already makes it more expensive as opposed to just a regular rectangle and you guys know me i always have to mention new colors i believe this is a new shade somebody correct me but because cherry red is a permanent color from dior but i think this amaryllis red it's a little bit brighter you can kind of see imagine cherry red mixed with magenta this is kind of what it's giving and I actually really really 
really like this i like the more pink undertone i think it would just pop better with my skin tone personally i was waiting on the website to see if they were coming out with this exact color in a micro djoy because this is the thing if they had this color in a micro djoy now i would have to second guess me wanting cloud blue because i was so set on cloud blue but i've always wanted a red bag and a patent bag so if i were to get this i could kill three birds with one stone micro djoy patent and red so let me know if any of you guys are getting this color oh it's just it's so pretty it's so pretty you just see like the undertones of the magenta and i really really love this chef's kiss and then another color really quick is the powder pink i did see this in store the other day i would say this the online photos make it a little bit more beige but i think in person it just has like a little bit more princess to it whereas i feel like the online photos lean it more cream beige pink as opposed to like powder pink but it's actually really pretty really soft i feel like this shade is the definition of like feminine like it's just so soft and oh it's honestly really really cute me and my best friend were looking at this bag in particular the micro djoy in this shade of pink we both agreed that this bag is pretty to look at but i feel like especially the undertones on this it's very neutral that this would actually match with a lot of things it's just it's too pretty to use like it's too soft it's like if i had a daughter and i put her on a pedestal i would be putting this bag on the pedestal especially the fact that it's lambskin i feel like this would get dirty and then i just wanted to mention something really quickly as well is that obviously you guys know dior has a whole baby line baby carriages baby clothes okay they actually have this really cute canache pouch i mean some of you guys might argue that this pouch is very free gift with purchase but i actually really really like it i mean the price point it's expensive 510 dollars but 510 dollars for a card holder is also really expensive and this is bigger than a card holder this is also bigger than the louis vuitton what is it the mini pochettes and those are over 700 dollars i believe i love the inside i just love how soft it is i think this is super super cute i'm honestly debating on getting one and if i were to get one i would get it in the blue i don't know i just think this is really cute and i know some of you guys have kids let me know if you guys would buy this i mean i would just keep this as kind of like a catch-all i mean it looks embroidered i'm not 100 percent sure so i would love to touch this to see how thin it is or thick it is because i do know that they're existing like your travel zip pouches i've seen reviews on them and a lot of people say it it feels really flimsy for how much it is i think those are like 700 because it has like the toit de julie print but it's really thin like super super thin so that's why i didn't end up getting those ones so i wonder if this is thick or a thinner material so if anyone owns this please let me know but i think it's really cute just wanted to mention it and then the last two major things i wanted to mention one was the new updated dior book totes so they basically have the leather on the side it's calfskin and then it comes with the strap a lot of you guys actually dm me to be like oh my god maggie look at the new book totes because you guys know me i'm obsessed with book totes i actually still prefer just the all embroidered ones but i feel like i'm super biased just because i love the dior book tote embroidery so much i like that they're giving variety so if you want a little bit of leather that's cool for me also i don't really like the straps right here i feel like they don't really go i mean obviously this bit right here is just this in handle form so i get it but for me i like the original more i mean don't get me wrong i love the ability to add the straps because they're kind of making it more user friendly to travel with kind of like the louis vuitton on the go totes where it comes with the strap so you can also take them off don't get me wrong i think the strap is cute i think the strap is well done the strap is on the thinner side so the dior book tote does get quite heavy whether it's full or not full it is a very heavy bag in general so having the strap be this thin and if the the bag is full i just i don't know i feel like that would hurt my shoulder not quite sure let me know if you guys are looking to get this so they have this available in the small size as well and i believe the mini size too i think the mini size is the one that kind of started it all i actually really like the mini size as well 23.50 not bad considering it's a mini dr book tote i actually still want to add the old minis i don't know if they're discontinuing that i don't know they're so overpriced they're 25.50 exclusively a top handle bag but visually i just really really like it i know jisoo has it i'm sure they gifted that to her but still but this is really cute so i definitely do eventually want to add a mini dior book tote and now this is a true contender if they start just 
coming out with the mini Dior book totes but in the seasonal bags so then I don't have to fully commit to let's say four thousand dollars on a big book tote I can get a smaller one for like twenty five hundred that'd be nice I mean this is not brand new but this is what the other one was based I would be so sad if they added the leather on the side because I don't want the leather on the sides for this one and then the last Dior bag I swear is the new Toujours but it's just the crinkled calf skin and it's basically the black on black the only thing is that I do know that the old Lady Dior bags it was the old matte Lady Dior bags it was like black on black is that those bags did have chipping issues so i wonder if this will have a chipping issue but i do know that crinkled calfskin kind of like the old gabrielle bags that chanel produces they're actually super super long wearing obviously essentially scratch resistant or even if you do scratch it you can't even tell but i did actually see this in store and no joke feels like the crinkled calfskin that chanel does to be honest for me it's just a little too grungy and dark but i totally know a lot of people that would love this so i think that's cool that they added this option as well i would love to see like this crinkled but in beige that would be really nice but that's also because i i really like the beige gabrielle bags so i'm biased again okay so finally we're going to talk about the fragment fendi and pokemon collab just i'm going to run through it really quickly i know it's been out for quite a while a lot of you guys have asked me to still make a video about it so i thought i would so obviously you guys know that this coming luna new year is the year of the dragon when this collection first 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 got announced i genuinely wondered i was like out of all the pokemon characters like why did they pick dratini and dragonite i mean i kind of understood dragonite he's actually very very popular and then when i finally clicked that it was because it was the year of the dragon i actually think that's adorable imagine if year of the rat came around and they did a pikachu collab that would be next level i actually think this fendi tote bag is a really good price for first of all how big the fendi sunshine totes are well i guess maybe it's not the sunshine tote if it doesn't have the handles but anyways 24.90 and this bag is huge and i just love that they showed dragonite flying and just sitting down right here I think that's really cute and it actually goes really well with the FF print I know the baguettes are actually the most popular piece I just wish it was a little bit smaller For me to style it and use it I'm sure a lot of people like how big it is But I would have liked it if it was just like Maybe just like small right here Like in the corner You guys know how like the Lueve did Like the pandas and stuff It was just like kind of to the side you know And here's just the close up of it So you can see the stitching of the Dragonite Which I actually think was really well done And I actually do like the fact that when you open the flap you still have the full Dragonite so it's not like it's head chopped off when you lift it up so I think that's really really cute I haven't actually seen this collection in person and I feel like this was the second most popular as well the mini baguettes with the Dratini again I just wish that the Pokemon was just a little bit smaller but I know it's like the main part of the collection but still I think this is super super cute as well price point not too bad $25.50 and of course this item is not available because it's so cute and the price is really truly not bad I actually thought this bracelet it was really cool if this was actual solid gold and not just like a gold color metal you know this would have been super super cute you guys know me i like bracelets my favorite bit is the fact that when you open up the pokeball it has the ff it's basically like capturing fendi which i thought was so so cute and then obviously they have it in the peekaboos as well okay so these guys I personally, I think I give it a 20 out of 10 for creativity, the pearl on her, beautiful, right? I mean, I even like how the chest area has the lines, I think that's cool, I love that it says fragment on the inside as well, but for me, I wouldn't buy this, I think this is cool, but it looks very kiddish, yeah, see this I think was so cute, this is, oh. I feel like this could just kind of add to an outfit. I think this is so cute. It just gives a little taste of it. Let me see what the inside of this looks like. See, it even says fragment on the inside. How freaking cute is that? And then I actually really did like this card holder and I wanted to get this one. I didn't text my essay just because I didn't think about it, but it was immediately sold out online, of course, because it's like a really good price point as well. And you guys know me, I'm on the hunt for a flat card holder. I think this is super cute. And I love that the Dratini is like in the corner as opposed to in the center. I just really, really like that. I love that it says fragment on the inside. It's seven slots. And of course, I just love this kind of like blueberry mint color. Super, super cute. Last few things from the fragment collection that i really like i actually did like these kind of fendi versions of the pochette accessoire i thought they were really well done i love that even the leather zip pull tabs are different accent colors i love that the string 
handle bit is actually different colors too and it says the ff right over there as well you can see that it's pastel blue and then obviously this one's yellow and then it has dragon knights colors with a little teal it's just the details of this i think are so so adorable and i mean the beaded work i feel like fendi is known for their beaded work so if you are able to afford this i actually love this so much purely because of the buckled wings i think this is gorgeous and i even just love that it has all three of the transformations in it as well because you have dratini dragonair and then dragonite but i just ah like this is so nice obviously it's super expensive because just imagine the time it took to do all this beading but i feel like this is a true collector's piece Okay guys, and then one of my favorite collections that we're talking about is the Lueve Jade collection. I love this collection so much. Obviously, I'm Chinese, so I love it, but also just aesthetically, I love it so much. So let me just run through a couple things before we just show the bags really quick. So if you live in China, you have the opportunity to get this jade bok choy pendant with an 18 karat gold chain the bok choy i mean i could do without this cricket and just have the bok choy but look at the detail of the leaves utterly obsessed okay and then obviously they have this cute little eggplant as well which i love that it's like a slim little eggplant and then you have a pea pod with a snail so the snail on this i actually really like i think it's so cute but apparently these pendants are only available in china so then it makes it even more exclusive to be honest other than the bags my favorite thing out of the entire jade collection are these jade bag charms you guys know i'm a sucker for bag charms and i'm a sucker for cute animals and jade so first of all this pink purple keychain the first time i saw the jade collection i saw this i wanted this so badly so badly you don't even understand and then this frog i mean i'm not big on frogs but my grandma that just recently passed away she her lucky animal was actually a frog she had frogs everywhere so i totally would have bought this in homage to her and i love that it's like a dark burgundy color my grandma's favorite color was red and this would just be perfect but 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 if i could get one my top 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 pick would be the yellow elephant because one hello my complexion i'm yellow this is perfect for me and elephants are just really lucky and it just oh it looks so cute so definitely it'd be the elephant the pig and then the frog and they're just completely sold out because these are i did not see these on the website other than the dragon charm the dragon dice jade charm was the only one that i saw and that one i believe is actually still available and then what's really cool which we'll go more detailed into it is their new mini flamenco which at first glance i didn't know how i felt about it and then the more that i saw it and people style it i actually think it's really cute i like that it's more pouchy like it's round kind of like a little shalombao dumpling as opposed to like a gyoza or the paseo it's longer where this is a little cute round little shumai you know super cute i love the jewel tones i love the fact that the flamenco mini purses come with this cute little jade piece which i think is adorable which one out of all these colors is your favorite you guys know i'm a rose i'm a sucker for the rosemary but since i already have this shade of bag i actually would lean towards this beautiful teal color or this mustardy yellow i think is really really cute and i love how each of these have this cute little animal situation and then of course with the jade collection there is a brand new shade called jade i love this this is essentially the jade color that came out from celine asia last year but the collection was more extensive in asia than it was in america so they had like three or four more pieces in asia but i love this so much so this is called spring jade you guys know me that i actually do like the squeeze bag i think it's really soft really flattering against the body and it comes with the donut chain detailing which is really really cute I just love this color like i love this color so much that i'm genuinely debating on getting the dice pocket just because one lisa has a dice pocket and i want the dice pocket now especially just to put my name right here that would be so cute uh what do you guys think should i just get it just to have a piece of this jade color because you guys know that this soft mint shade is one of my all-time favorite just bag shades in general and i wanted this shade in the celine belt bag i think i've mentioned it before it's just it's so cute Ugh, and i love that it pushes out my favorite bit too is that the dice pocket can shoulder bag this actually was the photo that kind of cinched me and i'm like add to cart but i didn't check out yet i just oh i really really like it and you guys know me i'm a louis fanatic so i might as well get the dice pocket too 
And then this was the last thing that I wanted to buy from the collection. It was the pea pod charm. Just because, hello, it's a vegetable in jade. I think this is so, so cute. It has the calfskin on the outside and I just, oh, it's so cute. I just, I couldn't justify it with tax. This would be over $500. So in my head, I'm thinking card holder or bag charm. Because if I got this pea pod, then I still, I know I would want to get my name and I would prefer to get my name over the pea pod, even though this pea pod is super cute. The only way I would have broken it is if they had a jade bok choy bag charm, then I would have, it would have just been game over. I would have clicked check out. We wouldn't talk about it anymore and I would just look down. And then last but not least, of course, we're going to talk about the Louis Vuitton Remix collection. So there are so many pieces in this collection and I'm just going to talk about my personal favorites and then just some of the most popular ones. So to start it off, the only accessory is this bucket hat because you guys know me, I'm looking for a bucket hat and I really, really like this. I feel like it's totally giving Y2K, which is what it's supposed to be. I just, I really like it. I truly, truly do. I mean, it is a little bit more expensive for example the celine bucket hat that i really want to get is like 570 so this is a whole hundred dollars more but i mean it's the collection it even has the trim vaquetta let me know if any of you guys got this bucket hat because i really like it and i actually do really like the zippy coin purse they do actually have this available in the long wallet as well i just feel like long wallets are quintessential y2k like that's when everyone had those like velour juicy couture long wallets the chanel boy long wallets like long wallets were y2k because that's before apple pay and everybody actually carried around cash okay so the croissant i feel like this is what everybody is talking about because it's two bags in one essentially i mean i'm on the boat with everyone else that i wish that they just sold this separately so it would be cheaper like if you take a thousand dollars off and just sold it as is I honestly feel like this would be sold out if this was $2,000 as opposed to $33.50. That is pretty expensive. I mean, I, but I still am kind of surprised that it's not sold out. I mean, the price point in it of itself is pretty expensive but it is really, really cute. So this is actually in my top two. Like if I were to buy something from the collection, it would be this one, which is such a coincidence. One, it sold out, but two, there was this video of Lisa shopping in Paris and she was with her mom at Louave. and she was actually seen holding this bag, which I love and adore because I'm sure Frederick or Frederic, my French accent is so terrible, I'm so sorry, but I'm sure he gifted that to her or she bought it herself. Either way, first of all, the belt buckle in and of itself screams Y2K but I actually really like you can see the strap has the metal bits on it which I feel like almost all of the pieces have that little metal detail which I actually really really like I do think this is expensive $29.70 I mean the Diane bag comes with a jacquard strap and it's essentially this but canvas and that's what $23.70 or something like that whereas this is over $3,000 but I mean I'm sure the buckle in and of itself is really expensive but I think this is so cute this is that because you guys know me i'm in my shoulder back roll era if you don't like the fendi mama baguette i feel like this is a good substitute for like a louis vuitton version love 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 i would say my only gripe is why would they make the strap only half detachable i feel like they should have either made it not detachable or detachable having this like half situation is very interesting but i love that you can have actually a pocket in the front instead of like a back pocket because you guys know me i'm a sucker for a back pocket there's a front pocket that's actually usable and really really Oh, I love it. Oh, this bag is actually super popular. I, if anything, this is the one bag from the Remix collection. This and one of the Vernie bags are the most popular bags that I see. I mean, I think it's really cute and I think it's the price point too because you can get a little taste of this. It's essentially, I mean, price point with what Louis Vuitton prices its bags. Example again, the Bachet Accessoire is $1,780. So it's essentially $1,800. For $100 more, you can get something that's limited edition, a thicker Vaquetta strap with a buckle and i wouldn't say that it fits more because the shape of this is kind of curved up whereas the pochette accessoire is longer but i think this is really really cute wait am i crazy or is the inside smaller than a monogram versus the outside i could be crazy i'm not sure or if it's just the camera 
but it does look smaller doesn't it doesn't this fleur-de-lis look smaller than this one i don't know i could be crazy okay weirdly enough i really like this and i was actually really surprised that this wasn't sold out because i actually love that it juts out like this front pocket situation i feel like this looks like the danube but denim and the fact that the straps are actually adjustable and the fact that the strap is vaquetta i feel like when this ages and gets a patina on the strap i actually think it would look better but maybe it's the price point i feel like one of the overarching things that people say on reddit about the new remix collection is the price consensusly i feel like everyone thinks that every single bag should be priced three to five hundred dollars less than what they're marketing it for i mean i actually really really like this i'm genuinely surprised that this is not sold out see imagine like buying this for a boyfriend to travel i feel like this is a really cute shoulder bag for men so okay so this is actually my second favorite thing so obviously the sunset and then this nano speedy so jerusha actually did an unboxing of this so originally i wasn't like the denim was kind of mm, i didn't know how i felt about it yet i wasn't like 100 percent on board but then after i saw jerusha's unboxing of the nano speedy i absolutely fell in love because do you see this picture it's like a very dark wash but in her video it was like a bright denim blue and that's what made me love it and i love the fact that it has this little like cargo pouch outside i think this is so cute it is extremely expensive 2600 you're paying for the limited edition collection the buckle i'm sure alone is probably like $500 and then the front pouch another $500 understanding how Louis Vuitton justifies pricing things but I think this is really cute if I did not have the small Boston bag or the mini Speedy HL I honestly would think about buying this just because I don't know it's so unique and it's so cute and oh see I love that it's like a smaller monogram on the sides but then the regular monogram you can definitely see that this LV is smaller than this one so I actually like that so you get kind of like two different ones I think is really really cute yeah I actually really like the Nano Speedy let me know down in the comments if any of you guys got this so I can live vicariously that'd be awesome okay so i feel like this pink one is the most popular that i've seen online i believe lisa has this one too and i actually saw recently this reddit thread that this bag that she received had uneven stitching on the bottom and it had a dent in the bag that came in because it's a vernis you can't just push it out with let's say bubble wrap and tissue and just let it sit there the way normal canvas does right because canvas you can kind of get rid of a crease by just leaving it out stuffed whereas vernis i'm sure the material acts a little bit different i love this bag so much genuinely i love this i love the tone of this like this magenta bubblegum pink and i hope they come out with more variations of this just because i've always wanted to add a vernis bag just because it's so early 2000s louis vuitton like i feel like it's signature like the vernis almas is all i can think about but yeah, I really, really like this. This bag, I don't know if this is the same bag that they have on like DCT Vintage, but this shape of bag, I actually have seen. They have like yellow and red ones and they're actually pretty decently priced. I mean, this is really expensive, $27.30. And this bag is not that big, but I actually loved the fact that it's vernis and then they add this like pop of monogram on the inside. I think that's actually such a fun detail. It comes with a strap as well. I just, I really, really like this. I love the color. I love that it comes with a hair clip. I think that's super whimsical. I do know that this collection with the vernis is very hit or miss. A lot of people on Reddit, on the Louis Vuitton like subreddit, say that this collection looks really childlike. I understand what they're saying, but for me, it, it's giving more Y2K vibes. I feel like that's just like the generation that I grew up in, which is why I connect with this bag in this collection. I think it was just really well done. I think it's really cute. I also have the croissant with this really chunky chain, which I actually really, really like. I mean, it's expensive but i mean it's really cute i can't deny how cute it is and i actually i'm normally kind of mm, against louis vuitton chains but the chunk on this chain i think is really really well done i mean for three thousand dollars i don't know if i would buy it but i think it's cute and i do like this yellow i wish the yellow wasn't as lemon lime yellow i wish it was more pastel yellow because you can see kind of like the lemon line undertones i actually do want to add a croissant bag in my collection i don't know if i want to go the vintage route or uh, three thousand dollars i can't not for not for a tiny bag three thousand i just can't do it so just a couple things i want to run through really quick the lexington pouch this exact bag is available on dct vintage i don't know about right now but it was because it was in my cart and i believe at the time it was like four or five hundred dollars so this is really interesting that now it's sixteen hundred dollars i mean of course it's brand 
brand new but i do believe that this one is wider whereas the vintage ones are a lot more narrow so maybe that's why it's more expensive but i actually really like this if i didn't already have the pochette accessoire i honestly would buy this because one it's yellow and it's vernis and it's a shoulder bag so oh wait i didn't even notice that look <gasps> the zipper is actually a lock wait i think that's so cute i did not notice that at all i think that's adorable but it is available in two colors so it is available in the chic yellow and this lavender color i love it i think it's just it's so so pretty it's like semi iridescent or maybe it's just the shade i mean i feel like vernie in general is just semi iridescent but i do really like this too i mean I used to think that Chanel did lilac really well, but LV has really killing it with the pastels recently. And then adding on to that lilac color is this Nano Alma. I would never pay $2,500 for this Nano bag, which is really comical because I would buy a Micro D Joy for $3,400. And that's actually not even including the tax. I mean, I still think this is really, really cute. And a Nano Alma, I feel like can fit as much as a Micro D Joy. So to each their own, but I mean, I think visually this is really cute it's just $2,500 for a nano I just wonder how this cool toned lilac color will look later on after the vaquetta ages a bit just because when it's like darker brown with this like pastel I'm not sure how that would look but I do love the detail in the chain as well with the little heart and the fleur-de-lis charm I think that's really cute and then going to the Alma BB like I said before I love this detail I feel like this little hardware detail sets it apart from other collections like it's not just an Alma with vernis like obviously you have the clip too but I just love the detail in this because I feel like it's reminding me you guys know the Murakami collection used to have the studs I feel like this is its own take on that which i really really like and they did make the strap adjustable which i think is a small detail but should be recognized and appreciated because you guys know me that i love the alma bb but i rarely ever use it with the strap just because the strap is so long and i'm short and i know a lot of you guys that also have the alma bb struggle with that problem as well so the fact that they took that into consideration and made the strap adjustable i think is really really cool and then i noticed that there was this new kind of i don't even know if this is a collection or what somebody let me know what this is from or first of all i love that it's kind of like the go one for quilting into the alma bb but i love this hardware detailing my favorite bit is that you have rose gold gold and silver i just love that and i feel like this shade looks so good with the silver i feel like it just pops i feel like if they used gold i wouldn't like it as much if they did rose gold i think it would work but it might blend into it might be like too monochromatic whereas i feel like the silver just works really really well this is forty seven hundred dollars i mean look at it the hardware detailing it's all leather i understand why they priced it at this price point but i just oh it's stunning even just this little detail right here like the stamp and just oh this is stunning i would love 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 to see this in person they do have this available in black in the nano size i definitely like the beige one more but i mean this is really cute too imagine if they made the nano one with the rose gold instead of the silver and then the alma bb with the silver i think that actually would have been more fun but it's still just as cute and then they did actually make this available in the go one four as well which i think is so pretty out of the three definitely this one is actually my my favorite i oh, i love that i originally hated the go one four in that brown color but the new updated rendition versions that they did is stunning like their iridescent ones immaculate but this i honestly feel like takes the cake for me i just love that they use three different colors like if any of you guys own the trinity ring from cartier and you wore the trinity ring with this bag i feel like it'd be a 10 out of 10 super cute honestly i thought it'd be more expensive because of all the hardware bits like 7100 don't get me wrong this is expensive but the go one four was already an expensive bag so i thought adding the hardware would honestly hit it to like eight thousand or nine thousand so the fact that it's 7100 i'm like okay you know this is the price of what the classic flap medium from three years ago so remember when the classic flap was like 6800 that was already so expensive so for it to be 2024 and this has all of the embellished hardware and 
it's the go one four already really expensive i think not bad i'm not mad about the price so the last thing i wanted to mention is not new i think i have found the flat card holder that i wanted to buy if you guys have seen my luxury wishlist video you guys know that i'm on the hunt for a flat card holder and i think this is it it's the romi card holder in the color matcha i hope that this matcha color is permanent and it's not limited edition i don't think it is let me see the other colors oh my gosh the fact that this is called bubble tea and it's taro like the color is taro i mean i think that's really cute it's giving taro because of the boba right here and then i think that's adorable but i really want this i want this so bad price point is not bad at all so two reasons why i hesitate on this is one i really wanted to find a card holder that had seven slots i mean this seems really thin next time i go to lv i'm definitely going to ask to see this in person just to see how thin it is i love that the inside has the matcha green color as well well, my only thing is that I wish that there were at least one or two slots on this back side But I guess then it would be a lot fatter So I'm not sure because it kind of reminds me of the Lueve card holder that I already have Where there's slits on one side and then it's just naked on the other So we shall see but I love this color combo if they made this in their super thin one But with the matcha, oh my gosh, I would buy this so quickly But i'm also hesitating because i'm saving up to buy something for a gift for a friend So I have to hold back and not be selfish. So we're gonna wait a little bit, but maybe 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 if any of you guys own this matcha color Let me know does it get dirty pretty quickly because I do have the rosalie coin purse and the pink after a couple years It does get kind of dirty Alrighty guys, so if you guys have made it to the end of this video, thank you very very much. I appreciate it I genuinely hesitated on making this video because one i'm so late to the game So I hope you guys did enjoy it I tried to go as fast as I could just so it wasn't too too long Let me know down in the comments if you guys bought anything from this collection Especially i'm very interested how many people bought something from the fendi fragment pokemon collection Or if any of you guys bought that new flamenco mini purse bag with the matching jewel like that matching jade piece alone oh it really tempted me but i had to stay strong we're sticking to my luxury wish list and not waning away except for this little card holder potentially as always thank you guys so much for watching if you guys enjoyed today's video please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe it really helps support my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys it's dark now outside that's how long this video took me to film